Welcome in everybody and happy January the 27th. Okay, everybody. January 27th is here. It's the year 2021. And as always, we're about to look at our calendar and see what the calendar has to tell us about January 21. Now, we've got the calendar set. And we're going to see what's happening in time. Now, to start off, we have our moon calendar here, which tells us that, guys, we almost have a full moon. Okay? Our full moon, according to the moon calendar, is the 28th, which is tomorrow. So, for all you moon magic people, that's your full moon date for you guys. Now, while we're speaking of the full moon, let's talk about Farmer's Almanac. Now, I have all my calendars here that I can look at and all my almanacs here. And we're going to see what's going on in all of them. So, we're talking about the full moon. So, for the full moon, for everybody who does moon gardening, you know, gardening by the moon, which is a huge percentage of people. Well, here in the United States, the almanac tells us that the 27th is considered a barren time so it's a best to just be killing weeds today briars poison ivy and other plant pests for this day okay guys the time is going we're gonna hop in here and we're gonna see what is trending on social media today well it looks like alabama tornado is trending um, uh, Elliot Page, and the hashtag anxiety makes me, and the hashtag X-Men vote, and wizards versus rockets. <laughs> ah. Now, guys, our holiday calendar tells us that, um, it's National Chocolate Cake Day. That is a food holiday, okay? Now, we're going to be talking about that a little bit more as we go through our calendars, okay? So, there may be several of you out there that's eating cake for breakfast. I know, I wish I had a, I wish I had a slice of cake right now. I really do. I've got my cup of coffee right here, and it would be so good with a slice of cake. But, guys, I've already drank a whole pot of coffee this morning. And the creamer that I'm using today is the sweet irish cream creamer i love it but if you guys watched my previous video i did one where i made a banana bread this week so that's what i'm doing each morning for breakfast until i eat up all my banana bread i'm putting a big old thing of butter smeared on top and i'm having it with my cup of coffee so for this morning i've already had my banana bread but um, if I had some chocolate cake, I would be having that too. No doubt about it. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys, let's take a look at what's happening today for January the 27th. Now, guys, this is one-liner top news that's expected to be talked about for today. Okay? One-liner top news. Biden orders DOJ to end private prison contracts. It's part of a racial equality push. Twitter permanently suspends Pillow CEO for election misinformation. Okay, let's see what else we can find there for misinformation. Let's see. Federal judge blocks Biden's 100-day moratorium on deportation. Rand Paul calls Trump impeachment trial dead on arrival after 45 GOP senators vote against it. Republicans rally against impeachment trial, signaling likely acquittal for Trump. People are turning in family members, ex-romantic partners they recognize in Capitol riot footage. Healthcare worker dies after second dose of COVID vaccine investigations underway. Let's 
last one I'm going to mention to you guys is Ted Cruz says Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama could be impeached next. Okay, guys, those are the one-liner news topics that's being talked about for January the 27th. Now, January the 27th, guys, it's the 38th day of winter, which means we have 52 days left until spring. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, for January the 27th, it's International Day of Commemoration in, memor in memory of the victims of the Holocaust. It's uh, Family Literacy Day in Canada. It's Spirituality Day. Um, in Serbia and as a matter of fact there's several other International Holocaust Remembrance Days that sit all throughout the world everybody okay but it's also Tu Bishvat what is Tu Bishvat? well I mentioned this in one of my previous videos but um, Tu Bishvat is Hebrew and it's the 15th of the lunar month of Shavuot. It is the new year for trees. You guys, this is similar to what we know as Arbor Day. But it falls in January or February each year. Typically, when almond blossoms are seen in Israel. And it's uh, one of the four new years in the Jewish calendar, guys. <laughs> trees. Trees. We talked about trees in one of the videos that I did previously, and I uh, gave a list to you guys of what trees grow in Israel. That was interesting. So check my video, past videos out for that. Okay, guys, let's look and see what birthday is today. And um, not only is it a birthday, but it's a holiday that's being celebrated too. So today, January the 27th, is the birthday of Mozart. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, hmm. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in Salzburg, Austria on this day in 1756. Okay. His achievements in composing operas, chamber music, symphonies, and piano has earned him a reputation as one of the greatest musicians, one of the greatest musical geniuses of all time. Mozart's birthday is observed by musical societies all over the world today. And these musical societies often give concerts of his music on this day as well. Now, the city of his birth also honors him, but they honor him at the end of January and uh, they have a Mozart week. In his hometown. So, guys, there we go. That's some fun information. Let's see if I've missed out anything. Now, we do have a weird holiday. It's called E-Day. Now, I don't know if you guys know what E-Day is, but I'm sure most of you know what Pie Day is. Not the eating pie that, you know, we just recently had a National Pie Day. No, we're talking about the P.I., the Mathematical Pie Day. Everybody knows that day, but um, E-Day is similar to Pi Day. But like I said, when many people think of uh, mathematical holidays, they think of Pi Day. But um, this holiday celebrates, um, it's celebrated around the world, actually, also. But it's called E-Day. Now, I'm going to have to read you what this says about that. It's used to celebrate the mathematical constant E. This holiday is celebrated on February the 7th each year in countries, hear me now, in countries that use a month-day date format. This is because the date of the holiday 2 slash 7 corresponds to the first two digits of the mathematical constant E which has a value of 2.718218.
It is also celebrated on January the 27th, which is today. Each year in countries that use a day, month, date format. <laughs> E-Day. That, that's today, guys. January the 27th, E-Day. Okay. That's over my head. Anything mathematical? Whoop. Count me out. Count me out. That's not one of my strong points at all. All right, guys. Now, we talked about the holidays that's going on around the world. We talked about the moon, when it's a full moon. We talked about Farmer's Almanac and when it's planning. Now, I um, also have a uh, Farmer's Almanac desktop calendar here. And let's take a look at this. And we will see let's see what it has for us for January the 27th it usually has some fun little stuff in here so for January the 27th it says you will never get ahead trying to get even <laughs> I'll show it to you guys this is what the farmers almanac calendar has for us for today you will never get ahead while trying to get even. Great words to live by, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff calendar. And we're going to read from that as well for you guys, okay? Now don't sweat the false, don't sweat the small stuff calendar. It's it's usually on the serious side of things. So um let's see what we've got for Monday, January the 27th. Did I tell you guys that is it Australia Day? No. We already had that, didn't we? Yeah. I need my Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. Don't sweat the small stuff. When you, when you stop sweating the small stuff about money, everyone benefits. You'll feel better. And what's more, you'll probably make more money too. Any success we enjoy is despite our worry, not because of it. Worry and excessive stress are distractions that keep us from our dreams and from our greatest potential. So as we discover ways to worry less, to not sweat it, we ignite that capacity within us. Don't sweat the small stuff. Monday, January the 27th. Oh, that's, that's, I like that. That's pretty good, right? Okay. I'm going to look at, um, we're going to get you a fact for today. For January the 27th, our fact says the first interlocking Olympic rings are black, blue, red, white, and yellow because at least one of these colors appears on every flag. I did not know that. Did you guys know that? When I just saw the word yellow, it sparked a memory in my mind. In uh, one of my calendars, in one of the witches' calendars that we have over there in almanacs and all, it says that Wednesday, January the 27th, the color for this day is yellow, guys. The color is yellow. Now, I'm going to hop in here for Life's Hacks and see if we can't get a tip. Life Hacks says, after buying a new camera or GoPro, make sure the first picture is of your business card or contact information. This makes it easier for someone to return the camera if it's lost or forgotten somewhere. How about that? Okay. All right. All right, guys, last but not least, I'm going to pull up our Celebrate Every Day calendar here, and I'm going to pop it over, and we're going to 
see what else uh, is happening for January the 27th. Now, um, it is Library Selfie Day, January the 27th, which basically means that for Library Selfie Day, you're encouraged to go to the library and take a picture of yourself while you're at the library, and then you post it on social media showing that, hey, I was at the library. Okay. All right. Now, earlier I mentioned that the food holiday for January the 27th was National Chocolate Cake Day. So, our calendar here has some information about ch Chocolate Cake Day, so I'm going to read that for you. Okay, National Cake Day. History tells you you can have your cake and drink it too on Chocolate Cake Day. 